Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shane Senior. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and any comments you may have down below in today's topic, which is what is the blockchain? Now, the blockchain was built around the Bitcoin network, which is only a fraction of what this technology can and will achieve. It was developed back in 2008 by a mysterious person or persons under the name of Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, blockchain is just a bunch of data and records that is distributed on a public ledger across millions of computers across the globe. Now, what do I mean by ledger? A ledger is literally just a database in which all of our information is stored across its network. People like me and you can host one of these blocks from our own computers or our own living room, which is used to validate each piece of data. These are also referred to and known as nodes. Now, each of these blocks is built on trust throughout the network as there is no need for a central authority. Now, the more and more of these blocks which we tie together allows for the network to become stronger and stronger. A bit like an example for you is how each strand of a spider web, which you tie together, stops it from breaking. The blockchain also helps keep our records safe via a system known as cryptography. For all of its transactions. The main use case for this is the Bitcoin network which has a public key and a private key for every single one of the transactions. The public key you can send to anybody whether it's friends, family, which is all encrypted from that private key. This allows the cryptography to decrypt that information so that no one else can ever know who you are. Having the blockchain spread across millions of computers across the globe, it helps keep the network completely without a middleman. There's no need for a bank, your PayPal, or even it helps reduce staffing costs. Let me give you a good example of this, and that's when you currently go and buy a car. Let's just say you go and buy a purchase a new car, you've ordered it in blue, uh, a month down the line, you decide you want to change it to red. Now, the current system, you've got to go through the staff, they then have to contact the management, they have to contact the factory, who will then decide whether yes you can or can't change it. Now with the blockchain on the other hand, that will mean that you no longer have to go through that rigmarole and process, which is going to save corporations millions of pounds and dollars, because currently all you'll have to do is go onto the blockchain and you will be able to see your time and date of when that car was actually painted in that colour, which is going to completely solve corporations and companies a, a, a lot of money and a lot of time and headache. Another key point is by storing blocks of information across its network. Blockchain cannot be controlled by a single entity or person, has no single point of failure and cannot be corrupted. Okay, To hack or change any of its information across any of its blocks we require to have a supercomputer with more power than the millions that already exist across the network. As of today's standards, that is approximately 20 times the size of Google's supercomputer, which just is not going to happen. This also enables the blockchain to be tamper-proof. Now, in my next video, I will go into the more ins and outs of the blockchain on what use cases are going to benefit from this in the up and coming future. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and put any comments down below on any, on any of the blockchain topics I have discussed today. Thank you.